Welcome to Follow Your Joy podcast, where intuition is the doorway to your elevated creativity, more joy, and prosperity. I'm your host, Marla Diane, and I've been living an intuitive life for decades as a creative. That translates to transforming creative entrepreneurs' lives for over 27 years through two businesses as a business strategist and a life designer. And prior to that, an entertainment publicist and talent manager. Follow Your Joy is an entrepreneurial resource for creatives sharing their challenge to victory stories through the lens of listening to their intuition. It's time to make joy your inner GPS for life and business decisions rather than lean on your logic and reason first. You'll not only be following what is most authentic for you, but you will live the beautiful life meant just for you. Want to learn how to access, trust, or up-level your intuition? Join me in the conversation to find out how. All right. Hey, creatives. How you doing today? So have you, have you had a season in your life when you intuitively knew it was time for a major change, right, from the inside out, but felt stuck and frustrated and really unsure how to move forward. And things were not showing up the way you knew you wanted it and wanted them to be at, you know, that kind of point in your life. And then by not coincidence, you connect with someone that becomes a catalyst for the change that you craved and you know you needed. And before you know it, life begins to shift. You feel kind of rejuvenated, hopeful again, and from people to income to relationships, right? are all elevated and the people closest to you in your life notice the change in you. And they begin asking, what's going on? Right? What's happening? I know I've had that right, experience. So my guest today, I should say my special guest today, will tell you her story of just that very thing, what I just, the scenario I just explained to you, because the change that was inspired, right, by listening, I should say her change was inspired by listening to her intuition rather than ignore it, right? So my special guest is a well-respected, highly connected 20-year expert in the event industry with a wide range of experience in operations and planning and production and as a service provider. And her current role is a partner and business development director at Flair Project. It's a bar catering company. I love this, that they really specialize in providing their clients with a like an experience. This is not just hiring bartenders. And she'll explain more in detail. And she's a native of LA and lives in Redondo Beach, not far from me, uh, with her fabulous husband of 22 years and her three kids, her two dogs and her three cats. So welcome, welcome. It's my pleasure to have you on the podcast, Cindy Sauce. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Marla, so much. It's such an honor to be here with you. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, absolutely. So let me share with everybody um, how we met and why you're here. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds great. And, and jump in, please, you know, in this, you know, part of this conversation. And that is, you know, we've known each other probably, I would say, for the last six years, something like that. And I gauge that because I started working in the events and wedding industry 10 years ago, it was 2014. So I'm going to say around probably six years. Uh, 
And that, yeah, given that I work with a lot of creatives in the industry, we knew of each other, right? Mm -hmm. And we'd say hello at events and all that, but we didn't really know each other in depth, right? But we mm -hmm. certainly admired each other from afar, right? Yet, so funny, we lived in, this, in the South Bay. City. <laughs> in the same city, right? And soon to find out, we had a lot in common. Mm -hmm. So let's first, uh, it, it, so anything to say about that? No, yeah, absolutely sure. true. Uh, considering we live in a little bubble, um, how yeah. we did not cross paths is incredible. <laughs> it's uh, amazing, but here we are. I know. It yeah. was, it was, it was the universe bringing us together at the right time. A hundred percent. I absolutely agree with that. So, Okay. Let's start, let's tell everybody, um, you know, share some highlights of your journey, right? Kind of over the, if you will, 20 years, what kind of brought you to where you are today? Um, so God, 20 years seems so long. <laughs> um, so I actually started in the restaurant world. Um, I worked at a, a local bar in, on Third Street Promenade. And so that kind of kicked off my career um, from my past life, which was very corporate. Um, so I started working at a restaurant and then it just kind of progressed from there. And uh, I took some time off to be a mommy, to be a first time mommy. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I came back into it, I just jumped right in and um uh, went back again to restaurant world and then uh, quickly went into a venue. And um, from the venue, I went to a caterer. And then from a caterer, I went um, and probably had my longest tenure with a linen company. Um, and then from linen, I made my way back to catering um, food, food and beverage catering. And now I just specialize in delicious, um, you know, craft cocktails. That's what we specialize in. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's been a journey, but I feel like, and, and mixed in there doing planning and production as well. So on, you know, my own and for special clients. And so I just feel like I have a, a really good foundation for mm -hmm. all of the event industry. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's been great because it's really been helpful in all of the, uh, the positions that I've held. Mm -hmm. So why this industry, what happened 20 years, I should say what happened before the 20 year mark? It's like, what, and you know how I like to connect the dots, right? Mm -hmm. What went on in your younger life that, and I call it success leaves clues, <laughs> right mm -hmm. is it, what was happening for you that led you to this industry well um a funny thing i actually was in a completely different um okay. uh, industry in my life i actually worked for a company that provided um electronic monitoring for first time offenders Oh my goodness. So I was, uh, <laughs> you know, fun fact about me, I always wanted to go into law enforcement. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I always laugh about it because, you know, there's nothing beautiful and glamorous about that. Mm. So I think once, you know, I spent many, many moons doing that, um, I was offered a, a position, um, you know, with, the restaurant world and, you know, it's fun and it's, you know, you're socializing and you're getting to know people. And I think that that was the beginning stages of my love for yeah. customer service and hospitality and servicing people and making them happy and bringing them joy. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, I think that probably was like the little seed that got planted. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. Law enforcement, event industry. I know, totally different. That's, I mean, that's new to me. 
Right. Although I still love everything that is crime related and really, I, my favorite authors are, you know, crime related and I watch crime shows and I love true crime and interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I'm always one of those looky loos that when I'm driving and I see something, I'm going to, yeah. I want to peek and see what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? I mean, what happened in your younger years that got you you know, what was either intuitively pulling you to law enforcement? I mean, where did that come from? Um, what do you think? I mean, I, I honestly, I could not tell you, but from the time I was probably, um, gosh, my freshman year in college, although I didn't even study criminology, I, I studied something totally different. I mean, <laughs> all the way around. I mean, I studied urban planning and architecture with an emphasis in environmental protection. Interesting. So that's, that's the, um, the nature lover in me. Yeah. Like that's the yeah. protector of nature and mm-hmm. all things uh, alive and, and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I, I don't even know. I could, because there's nobody in my family that was yeah. in law enforcement or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so was- it, interesting but i yes i always i've always wanted to be i always feel like that was um one of one of my many callings <laughs> very very so okay i mean was there a was there a defining moment in your life that said oh i really like this crime stuff i mean were you watching something did somebody say something to you did someone influence you can you um, pinpoint any particular, you know? Um, You know, I probably, it it might stem from the fact that I always believe in, you know, um, the truth and, you know, just, you know, living a good life. And, you know, maybe to me, law enforcement just seemed like something that you're keeping the peace, that you're helping others. I mean, it, it's still helping others like both, both, yeah. um, both, uh, careers deal with helping other people. Right. Um, I just, one's not very pretty and one's, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, hmm. but yeah, I, I can't say that there was like something defining about it. Um, it just, it was something that was, it's always been, yeah. um, in the back burner for me. And I actually passed, um, quite a few tests within law enforcement departments in LA. Um, so I was, I was on the cusp of going in when I came to a complete halt. Policeman's a policewoman, Cindy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, I mean, I had my sights on like detective or something like that. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Um, very, very did that change? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> That's Although I still think I would have been really great at it. I agree. Yeah. It's just, it's, I'm sitting here going, okay, law enforcement, event industry, two very, <laughs> very different yes. disciplines. Very different disciplines. Yeah. Yes. But, there, but the, you're right. There is a common thread there. So, Okay. Talk to us then about what brings you the most joy in what you do. I mean, I think it's just what I've said is helping people. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that is um, the first and foremost is helping others um, enjoy a a happy moment in their lives. And Mm -hmm. um. I just really feel like I understand people. I feel like I'm a good listener. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, to be honest with you, in the event world, it's not just about the one individual. It's about the village. That's right. And I really enjoy working with the people that I love to work with Mm -hmm. and to create those magical, memorable moments. And so I think for me, it's me, myself helping others, but me being also part of this village that in a combined effort, we get to create and we get to, you know, do the imaginable through collaboration. Mm -hmm. Um, 
-hmm. you know, with all this love that we have for our industry and for many times our clients who ultimately become our friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in, in the core, what I see is the core in that, and it's part of your zone of genius, which you'll be learning about in the cohort, uh, is you're a connector, right? It's one of those top talents of yours. It comes very natural to you. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's, it, in fact, that I know that's what you're known for. That's what from afar before I got to know you closely, is I always admired how well connected you were and how you were a connector. You know, that's Thank really you. like, yeah, that's. That so means cool. a lot to me. It means a lot to me because that's part of the village. Yeah. You know, that's part of elevating, you know, others mm-hmm. be their greatest and to be the best at what they do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I always say sometimes it just doesn't even have anything to do with me. Mm-hmm. But seeing two people or two companies or two entities get together and create magic together. There's nothing more special and beautiful about that. Mm -hmm. And it allows me to be a part of something that's bigger than me. And that's really, really important. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm in this industry. Yeah. It's, it, it very, I mean, the, the role that you play and the impact that you do is a ref, a reflection, a demonstration of that connector in you. you. In other words, you're able to play out that talent, that beautiful talent that you have. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's great. So how did you get connected with Flare Project? Where did that come into the picture? So I was working for a catering company and um, specializing in delicious food. And, um, we, I connected with the owner, Eva Peshev from Flare Project, just, you know, a few years prior, Mm -hmm. um, actually several years prior through one of my best friends in the industry. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, we had done an event together and then just through the course of the years, we had, you know, cross paths. And so, um, a few times, um, for weddings that were um, where the bride and groom wanted really specialty cocktails, mm-hmm. you know, we had sought his advice about certain garnishes or you know certain toppings. Um, so him and I actually had like a really great um, relationship. Like there was synergy definitely there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we had done a styled shoot at a venue in Venice. And just really got to know his style and like the way he worked. And so fast forward to 2023, um, he had asked me if I he wanted to grow his business. He was in that position of growing his business. Um, Flare Project started in Santa Barbara eight years prior. Mm -hmm. Um, So it was we're really big in, you know, the the. Uh, Santa Barbara, Ventura County, Santa Inez, um, Los Olivos solving area. Mm -hmm. And so he wanted to bring it down South to LA and he wanted me to help him to um, uh, help him hire a salesperson. So he's like, you know, you're such a connector. You, you know, a Mm -hmm. lot of things, sales and would love to get your input, would love for you to help me bring somebody on board Mm -hmm. and sort of pseudo mentor them Mm -hmm. to to just be this great salesperson for them to be this relationship uh, developer for their, for a flare project. And so anyways, um, you know, I ended up leaving my position um, with the catering company and then, you know, we were working together and then it just, it was like one day he just said, you know, I just was thinking instead of hiring a salesperson, become my partner and let's grow Flare Project. And for him, I think it was just this natural, like universal 
explosion. And for me, I was like, oh, wow. Okay. I'm still in catering. I love catering. I, I'm going to be able to help, um, you know, still help my clients, still be in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, but also uh, the one thing that's always resonated with all of my positions in this um, industry was mm -hmm. to be a part of companies um, that were um, established, but not you know, you know, like super big, like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I, I'm trying to find the word for it, like really, really embedded in the community, like just the go-to. And so I've just, that was always something that was really important to me. And so it was an opportunity for me to do it with Flair Project mm -hmm. and really make a name for Flair mm -hmm. in the Los Angeles area. So that's really how it happened. And it happened so naturally and organically um, mm -hmm. that I think it just was meant to be. Mm -hmm. I remember when the uh, announcement came out, you announced it on Facebook. It was last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was last year sometime. And I, I went, that's so cool. Good for her. I mean, I didn't know anything about it. Didn't know any part of the story, but I saw that on, um, you know, on your Facebook page or maybe even been an Instagram, but I thought this is so cool. Good for her. Yeah. Yeah. I was real happy about that. So explain to our, you know, the creatives listening and the companies that are out there, what is a bar experience? In other words, what is so, I know what it is, but I want you to share it. Yeah, what's no, the, absolutely. What's that total unique experience that you are creating? Well, I, and you just, you, you labeled it, it's an experience. So when you think of experience, it's something that you enjoy, that it's memorable, that you take away with you, that you want to go back to, mm -hmm. um, what we really pride ourselves in, uh, is really bringing, uh, a bar to life through our bartenders and, our bartenders are all professional bartenders. They're certified. Um, they know their craft and they're there to, you know, bring that guest experience to the highest level possible, which means, you know, they're engaging, they're friendly, they know their bar, they know their cocktails, they make delicious cocktails. Mm -hmm. And in between all of that, they're doing, you know, mm -hmm. little entertainment with, with their uh, bartending tools and, you know, they're pouring. So it really is an experience um, in the sense that they're not just drink pourers. Yeah. It's not taking orders, mm -hmm. but they're actually servicing the clients, the guests that are coming to the bar. So give us a visual. I mean, that all makes sense. Mm -hmm. Take us for a moment. What's the visual look like? in that experience? Well, first and foremost, it comes with um, mm -hmm. just, you know, the first thing you'll see at our bars are our bartenders with a big smile on their face <laughs> and that warm welcome um, that they're giving. Um, and then the second thing you see is a beautiful bar. I mean, we're very specific on how we, um, we dress our bars. Uh, there's not any clutter. There are just the essentials that we need. Um, meaning our tools, um, our, our bottles, um, you know, are always well hidden. So you don't see any of that. Mm. Um, you know, you see the garnishes, um, you see a drink menu, um, some type of signage, um, and that's pretty much it on the bar. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, it's very, uh, minimal, but it's very beautiful. Uh, most of the time we have beautiful flowers. Um, if it's a, a theme, there might be some type of, you know, theme element to it. Um, like we did a, 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 a Nike launch, uh, a few months back and we had a beautiful Nike tennis shoe that was custom made for that particular event. Mm. Um, so it just depends, but yeah. I mean, that's really what you see is, mm. is the, 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 the elegant simplicity of the bar with, you know, just friendly, warm, welcoming bartenders okay. and just a great uniform. 
Okay, so it's not so much a uh, like a backdrop, almost like a mini stage, if you Mm will, -mm. with a bar in it. It's this, like you said, the elegant simplicity with some nuances, if you will, added to it. Correct. Okay, very good. Correct. All right, wonderful. So let's get to some of the juicy stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about Let's. your intuition and your story here. All right. So as you know, you know, with uh, the podcast and in how I operate in life and how I coach is the importance of listening to your intuition, mm -hmm. right? And deepening that. So share with us a story, all right? of when you, as you typically do and have many stories, but let's zero in on one, where you listen to your intuition that created a really amazing result. So as you and I had discussed, I think just you and I meeting was that. And, and, I, and I say that because, of course, I've had several along the way, you know, but I think meeting, and I wouldn't say meeting you, but connecting with you over coffee mm. um, a few months ago was just one of those moments where, you know, there was no expectation. We were just getting together for coffee. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, you told me, tell me what's going on in your life. And mm. there was just this like, like just the sense of just, let me just tell you everything. <laughs> let me just open my heart with no inhibitions and no fear and no anything. Mm -hmm. And let me just share, share where I'm at, share what I'm doing. And, and it was like one of those aha moments. Cause you know, you looked at me and I looked at you and we're like, wait a minute, <laughs> how have we not met before? Right. Um, Mm -hmm. But really, I feel like it was like the universe calling to us and mm -hmm. you and I just connected and one thing led to another and we just started almost like our discovery call was really in person, right? Because, you know, I discovered you and you definitely discovered where I was in that moment of my life where I just, I think I was just ready to turn the page mm -hmm. and and transform into the person that I'm meant to be. That's right. So talk about as a result of that meetup, mm -hmm. right? What began to happen? Right. And in what time frame? What began to happen that what I call what miracles did you start manifesting? Gosh, it was instantaneous. But you know, I really I do want to preface it. And really just um, emphasize that I was definitely ready. And I don't, and I think that's why it was so magical that we met. Because mm -hmm. I think any other time yeah. prior to that day, I don't think I would have been ready. Because I was just so stuck in my head. Yeah, agreed. You know, I was just so like... I was, I had my own roadblocks in my yeah. own brain, yeah. you know, what I was thinking, what I was doing, what I was going through. Um, and so much was just happening so quickly. Um, but, you know, from the moment that you and I decided to go on this journey together immediately, like I could feel the change and it was because I opened my heart mm -hmm. and I stopped thinking about everything that I should be doing, or I could be doing, or I'm supposed to be doing, but it was more like, wait, what do I want? Hmm. This is what I want. This, hmm. let me dig deep into my gut, into my intuition, which is now what I know to be my intuition. Hmm. Um, you know, so I started seeing the relationships in my life get better. Um, I realized that there were certain things that I didn't have any more room for. So I no longer wanted it to hold space in my, in my, in my body, in my heart. Mm -hmm. So, you know, holding on to things that are not good for you, mm -hmm. just 
it's, uh, it's tiring. It's tiresome. So I just felt like that sense of peace and calm. And I start, I stopped reacting to things. I started responding instead. So that was like, that was a big change. What I saw here at home, Mm -hmm. my family, and then just really like manifesting the work, like just knowing that I was in the right place doing what I'm supposed to be doing and knowing that, um, you know, I started uh, creating really great partnerships with planners and venues and, you know, just the, the events that I, that we started booking um, were the type of events that that we really want to do and we love, um, very creative, um, you know, focusing on, you know, certain clientele that that is good for our business and that we would be able to service really well. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I just, it, it just started happening, you know, it just started happening. And, and even just the, the, the most nominal things like, you know, uh, wanting to talk to certain people in our industry and all of a sudden receiving an email from them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just wildest things, <laughs> you know, just the absolute wildest things. Yeah. So, um, yeah, almost, so, almost like little miracles. It, it, they were, they were absolute miracles because you were in the right space, you know, cause we began, you know, you jumped into coaching and you jumped into the create, create cohort, mm-hmm. but even before that began, which I really want to, you know, call out is that you were already <laughs> manifesting and creating things, which is mm-hmm. not uncommon in my world. Usually when people, you know, make the, the decision to, to, uh, take an action on what they say is important to them and they do it through Mm -hmm. coaching. It raises your vibration. It raises the literally where you're at and living from. Right. Uh, And I like to, you know, give a, a, a positive warning to clients. It says, okay, fabulous. Congratulations on investing in yourself. I want you to be aware over the next couple of weeks before we start your coaching, you're going to start creating things before the program even starts. Absolutely. And that's you a hundred percent. That's what was going on for you. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah. And, and it's funny. And you mentioned it um, earlier. um, Even my friends were noticing it. Mm -hmm. It's a significant change just in, 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 Mm -hmm the way that I was thinking and my responses to them, um, you know, really honing in on, you know, my intuition Mm -hmm. and, you know, speaking the truth and love, which is so important. Mm -hmm. Um, and just being authentic, I think, I mean, I've always, I always prided myself in being authentic, but, Mm -hmm. but truly like believing in the things that, I was sharing, you know, so that it's been, it's, it's been an amazing two months, um, truly. I know it's, and think and about it, only two and it's, months. and we're only in March. So it's only two months. I, I it's the whole, yeah, I know. it's only two months that you started and to give you a know, perspective. And, and I think it's fair to say, I mean, last year there was, you know, for you, the the difference between where you were emotionally, mentally, right, spiritually versus what happened from December to February, right, the last two months is a, is a stark difference. Oh, and, yeah, for sure. And that's, that's the point is, you know, when I started the beginning of this episode, I gave the scenario, you know, I have you ever... Right. Have you ever been in a, a season of your life where you, know, you were frustrated? You weren't sure what the next step was, but you knew it wasn't where you wanted to be and so forth. Mm-hmm. And then you end up, you know, some catalyst happens. That's exactly where you were at from what you shared with mm-hmm. me last year. It's like, okay, I know life can be way better than this. What do I need to do? Right. Yeah. And right. So, absolutely. Yeah. And I think for me too, is, is that, you know, I am, 
I am definitely of an older generation. So to be where I was last year at my age, you mm. know, I think th that really struck mm. um, because, you know, A, I start thinking of where I should be and then B, the worst thing possible is you start comparing yourself to everybody else, which right. is, yeah. you know, it takes you down that rabbit hole. Comparison. Um, no, no, no. Um, yes. <laughs> and then, and then. And then I think the worst part of it is where you're just, you just feel like you're stuck and you don't know where to go. Yeah. Uh, you just don't know where to go. Yeah. Well, like you said, when you're ready, you, you that's when doors and synchronicities start to open. Hence mm -hmm. in your life, that's what happened in that, you know, afternoon in December when we met mm -hmm. up is that you attracted that. Yeah. And you attracted that because you were ready. And I love, I love how the universe works in that way. Cause it's, it, it's not coincidence as you know, mm -hmm. fabulous, really, really great story. And, you know, I'm going to publicly say how incredibly proud I am of you. I mean, you have created so much in such a short amount of time and you've, you've been so earnest and learning what you, you know, has been taught thus far mm -hmm. right, in the coaching that it's, I love seeing it. I mean, this is, it's fairly common in my world when, when right, clients follow the recipe, if you will, mm -hmm. and they learn to lean back and trust and, and use the various from universal, you know, law uh, skill set to the intuition to all those tangibles then as well mm -hmm. you're gonna start and I call it popping like popcorn and that's exactly what's happened you know for you and I love watching it so cool yeah. well I think too and I and I appreciate that I think too what's what was really important for me is that mm -hmm. I'm one that needs joy in all aspects of my life mm -hmm. you know so even though my work life was great, you know, and it was, it was good. And, and, you know, we were making the progress that we wanted, meaning Evo and I with Flair Project, you know, there were other things, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think it, I, I think what's so wonderful now is that it's, there's just so much cohesiveness between both lives and, you know, because they do feed off of each other. Uh, yeah. um, That's right. And yeah. so, you know, that part of it is great. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's enriching. <laughs> well, it's, we're integrated that, and that's yeah. what I aspire for you. You know, it's when one, you know, I should say, uh, what is that uh, saying? Uh, rising tide lifts all ships. So when you start changing one area of your life, because you're the common denominator, it starts then affecting the other parts of life. Mm -hmm. because we're, we're an integrated human being and spirit. Mm -hmm. We're not splintered. Right. Yet we operate splintered right. at times. And that's the gratitude I have to assist you with helping you connect and integrate all of who you are into everything you do. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, congratulations on the personal side too, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's all your goals and things that you want to do as a, as a woman and mm -hmm. as a person and mm -hmm. things that I, you know, because of fear or doubt or whatever that we don't do mm -hmm. um, or take a leap of faith about, you know, it's all those little things. It's, it's not just one thing. That's right. But all those things add up to a multiple multitude of things that, um, you know, it just affects you in different yeah. ways. Um, yeah. so now, you know, it's, it's all, mm. it's all great across the board. And, and of course, you know, we have ups and downs and ebbs and flows, but mm -hmm. sure. yeah, for the most part, it's, you know, we're, it's a journey now. It's a, it's a journey that I look forward to and, mm -hmm. and continuously work, um, work on. Yeah. You know, important. That's right. And you have the tools now, you know, mm -hmm. to, that's the whole point. 
Yes. Is being able to have the tools that are learned. And I remember doing this with the coaches that I hired over the years. It's like, thank God I now have my treasure chest of tools that I can use from life tools to business tools, mindset, money, et cetera, to lean on, right? And, and integrate it into our lives um, because we're human. We're going to fall off the wagon or things gonna, are going to happen or we're going to get out of a certain habit. We're going to fall off of a habit. And I, what I say to all that is just recommit. You have the tools. You know how to get back there. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. I love it. Okay. So to kind of wrap this up mm -hmm. is why don't you share, you know, some of your wisdom and a key advice to our, to our creatives that are listening, you know, give us a, you know, I don't know, one or two pieces of wisdom. What do you want to share? Um, so I think the first part, the first, I, I think there's two of them for me. Okay. I think the first one is, I would say, open your heart. Mm -hmm. you know, um, block out the noise. Definitely. Cause there's a whole lot of noise. <laughs> yeah. Listen to what your gut's telling you because it's, it's, it, it always has your back. It always knows. Um, it knows who you are and what you want and, and, you know, it, it guides you, but I think, the second and the, I think the most important is to not be afraid, mm -hmm. to not be afraid. And I say this because I, I am an example of this, to not be afraid to reach out and, you know, kind of just bare your soul mm -hmm. to learning, to, you know, like with you. Like, like I opened myself to, you're really a stranger for, you know, lack of a better word. We, we've known each other, but I mean, I didn't really know you. Yeah. But yeah, my intuition told me, just tell her, tell her where you're at. And, and sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times you meet that person that's going to help you. Right. That's going to mm -hmm. open your mind to the possibilities and transform your life for the better mm -hmm. you know, to, to, you know, make those goals and, and, and meet your desires and, and mm. get you where you really want to be in your life. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I take that as a, as a, as a thank you. Um, I appreciate that. So it, you know, the point which I believe is super important that you pointed out is the whole thing about distraction, right? Is so ladies and men, you definitely have uh, intuition. We all do, but mm -hmm. especially for women. And that is, I, I cannot emphasize it enough is to, is the discipline of not being distracted, not allowing the outside voices, the outside influences, right? The outside opinions mm -hmm. to give you direction, if you will, um, in what you're choosing to do. Always lean on, check in with your intuition, mm -hmm. which is what you're essentially saying here. It will always, always guide you to your next you know, I call evolution. It's meant for your higher self, the good in you. It's not, will never harm you. Mm -hmm. right? It's always meant to support a good life for you and not to, uh, not to ignore it, second guess it. And the more that you trust it, Right. The more you trust it, the more you realize, oh, that was meant to be that way. Because in how I look at it as it's it's meant to transform you. Mm -hmm. And we miss those opportunities of our evolution, of our transformation when we ignore our intuition, small or large. Right. So good on you. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good on you. Absolutely. For that. Beautiful. All right, my dear. So let's have you, uh, you know, tell everybody where can they get a hold of you and what would you, anything that you'd like to offer? Oh, thank you. Um, so for all you event professionals that are looking for a bar experience with amazing bartenders and, you know, delicious uh, custom uh, craft cocktails, you know, reach out to me. I'm at Flair Project. You could find us at our Instagram, uh, Flair underscore Project SB, or you could just reach out to me at Cindy at Flair Project SB.com. Wonderful. And we'll, we'll have that in the show notes, of course, for you. All right. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. And wonderful. You know, Thank you for letting me share. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so important to this is about inspiring others. You know, that's where my come from is, you know, is our stories are yes, there are stories for sure. Ours to to own, ours to be proud of. But it's, I see it as, okay, how can we inspire others to do the same? Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. But, yeah. And our stories know. are our stories, but they're there to help and yeah. guide other people. That's absolutely the truth. Yeah, that's that's it. That's why we're here. Storytelling. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're wired to be, you know, storytellers. So let's let's do it for the good of, of all, you know. Absolutely. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. So everybody, uh, you know where to reach Cindy. And uh, it's been my pleasure to be here with you and of, as well have you as a friend and now a client. I love it. Thank yeah. you so much. It's my pleasure. I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you. So please look in the show notes and look, if you are you know, wanting to deepen your intuition, uh, not sure how to get there or even understand what your intuition is, please, you know, find the Calendly link in the show notes and let's have a chat. Uh, we can at least begin a, an exploratory conversation about that. And uh, yeah, I just really cannot emphasize enough how important it is to listen to that intuition. And especially, everyone, at work. Because I find that, um, especially with Cindy and in the group of women that she's in this program with, it's very interesting. And it's true that we may be good, and I know you have expressed that too, Cindy, that we may be really good at our intuition with our families and our kids. But when it comes to work, yikes, how do we do it there? Mm -hmm. right? And that in of itself is, is a reason to, to give a call and, and or to say schedule a call to talk about that. Because that's I, so important to have your intuition while you're working every single day. For sure. And listening to that rather mm -hmm. than being pulled in five different directions. Like, well, what do I do? What should I, how should I handle this? And so forth. Ask your intuition. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's not that simple. I know that everyone. So take, take some time to, to build that skill set. Okay. Until next episode, everyone be well, be blessed. And we will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, thanks for listening. You can find more entrepreneurial stories and resources at MarlaDiane.com. And while you're there, enjoy my free downloads to uplevel your business and your life. And Instagram, it's my favorite place to hang out. Let's connect there. If you received inspiration from the episode, I'd sure appreciate a five-star review on Apple and Spotify. Until next episode, take care.